think with Susan, what she's doing, she's really opening the door to diversify the veterinarian space like no other. She has shown many of our students, both who are DVM students and prospective students, that who you are can be your strength and who you are can be the foundation of your career and your future. What many people don't know is that veterinary medicine is the whitest healthcare profession in the U.S. African Americans make up like 2% of all veterinarians that practice in the U.S. It's really helpful to see people that look like you in the industry as far as diversifying the profession so that it's more reflective of the population that you serve. Well, we have several outreach programs to young people. Uh, that Dr. Williams is responsible for and does a great job with. The value of these programs is that you reach children young. Ready Vet Go is a middle school program designed to bring um, middle schoolers to UGA to experience the veterinary hospital here, for them to have hands-on project-based learning. We've been working with the STEM Atlanta Women's Group. They work with underrepresented students in the Atlanta School District and in South Georgia. It just really opened the scholars' eyes to something that they never thought was possible. Vet Camp is a week-long residential program that's for high school students, and we do different aspects with them, and I get to teach in that program. Dr. Williams has been instrumental in teaching our students about necropsy and poultry science. These programs are very crucial in their exposure and hopefully their passions to truly pursue the field and understand what it takes to be a veterinarian. And she really works hard to make sure that she gives both students and faculty here at the university the very best that she can give. I help teach in the first and second year's professional skills class so that the students learn how to communicate with clients that don't look like them. With professional skills, Dr. Williams has taught us the importance of using our own people skills to work with our clients. And my plan after graduation is to go back to Miami and work with Spanish-speaking clientele. And I feel very empowered by what she has taught us with diversity, equity, and inclusion. She has given us the tools that allow us to serve whatever community, to recognize that first of all, but then also how we could address that in our futures. It has really led to understanding people and to have and lead with empathy um, as she leads with empathy. It was like a really good way for us to see how we can be advocates for our peers as well as advocates and champions for our clients. Seeing the students be able to give back to their own communities is really heartfelt for me. Both of my parents were involved in civil rights in the 60s. So I think that's a big drive for me is to be able to give back to the folks behind me to help bring them forward and then have them do that too when they get through. When I first came to Georgia, we probably were maybe 10% minority students in our veterinary classes. And now we're probably about 30%, which is great. We are stronger with diversity, have better outcomes with diversity. I call it the, the rainbow effect, where you really are exposing the industry to new and different ways of thinking, the innovation that's gonna come out of that, and also the opportunity to advance the industry. Seeing Dr. Williams take charge, lead in the forefront, and inspire people who do and don't look like her is one of the greatest rewards because we need more people who can continue to create the impacts that Dr. Williams will do. But more than that, we need other people to take our place and continue to pay it forward.